My name is Jason Gunner Jackson, and I know without a doubt that I am a target of a multi-agency program that intends to surveil, track, and document my life. Through research and experimentation, I've discovered the fact that the U.S. government uses bioluminescent algae to mark sites of government inquiry. There is little to zero chance that this is coincidental to my childhood family vacations to the Maldive Islands. Fact. I, Gunnar Jackson, own 16 legal use patents, which makes me a person of considerable interest. The deodorant patch. The metal detecting shoe. The kitty cat lasso. The drone umbrella. The tie bold screw joint. This joint is used in almost all American and Japanese weed whackers manufactured today. It is my most successful patent. Incidentally, I hate it. This is my latest patent, the Concert Periscope, an optical device that allows users to see over very tall concert patrons. The patent must be submitted today. Don't use the internet here. What? They have cameras at the entrance and they can match your surveillance feed timestamp to the computer browser histories. Uh, I'd never use a computer here. I saw you, dummy. You were searching for DIY booby traps. That's, that's not, I don't, you don't know that. Here. You couldn't find it in the system because Miss Sabrina misshelved it. I don't know you, so go away. Here. No, I'm working on something very important and you're bothering me. Go away. Consider more secure working environment, one with less distractions. Fact, although libraries are not the most secure research environments, they often have uncheck outable resources. Um, what are you doing? You can't do that. <laughs> What's your name? Deet. Deet? Your name's not Deet. What's your real name? Deet. No one's name is Deet. What is it? My name is Deet. Like the mosquito poison? I had it first. Uh, no, you didn't. Deet was invented by the army in the 1940s. Then I had it second. Okay, Deet. Why must you defile these books? Okay, fine. Well, this is just a nightmare. I'm being harassed by a stubborn book molester. I tried to help you. You may not help me. You're clearly a rotten child with nothing better to do than bother adults. Why can't you be more like Matilda and read quietly in a chair that's too big for you? Or paint a pretty watercolor picture and drip paint all over the floor? Or bother like anyone else here? Because I'm bored. I'm dropped off here every day and you're the only one that's not a complete fool. Even though you're kind of acting like a really big dummy right now. Go ahead. Nice to meet you too, Mr. Scrooge. What did you say? I said nice to meet you too, Mr. Scrooge. Ebenezer Scrooge was an honorable man who believed in hard work and self-discipline. Tiny Tim just whined till he got his way. So take that. Fact. This is yet another example of the U.S. government's invasion into our lives. Even a sacred institution such as the library. Who are you, a pirate, a man of us, cried he? Though I, oh, 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 oh
souls in and we Oh, I am not a pirate, but a man of Ocrony A sailing down along the coast of my Barbary A sailing, a sailing, 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 sailing. Broadside for broadside we fought along the main Go high, go low, and so sailed we Until at last the frigate shot the pirate's mast away A sailing down along the coast don't do it. Then don't make me do it. What do you want? I want to go on at least one adventure with you. That's it? Today. Okay, well that's an unrealistic answer. Then I'm gonna drop it. Okay. okay. Three. Okay. No, let me think. Two, let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Okay, got it. Give me back the camera, and I'll give you even better terms. Just give me back the camera. What terms? You'll like them, I promise. Just give me back the I'll like the terms? Yes, I promise. You'll like the terms. Just give me back the camera. Hmm. Okay. <sighs> hey! Hello! You said I'd get terms. Yes, well, when you... Stole my camera, I chased after you and left everything in front of the library. So can we discuss your terms as we walk? Okay. Okay. First, my name is not Ebenezer Scrooge, it's Jason Gunner Jackson. Never call me Jason, only Gunner. Now, okay. at first I was very upset with you. I don't normally call people a rotten child. I'm sorry about that. Okay. But something that you did impressed me, namely your instinct to harass and steal and extort, which reminds me of myself as a child. Okay. Very flattered by your willingness to help, but being my intern is no easy task. It requires dedication, resolve, instinct, ability, intelligence, and loyalty. But among other things, and most importantly, you must follow the three conditions. Are you ready for them? Yes. Number one, the world is by design. You must design it or it will design you. That's number one. Got it? Mm-hmm. Speak up. Yes. Number two, always be unpredictable. Got it. Well, yeah, because that one's really easy to remember. And number three, always protect yourself and your mentor, that's me, from the I. Okay. Is that a yes? Yes. Do you understand these conditions as they have been told to you? Yes. Do you agree to abide by these conditions as best as you are able? Yes. Okay. Now list the conditions back to me. Okay. Number one, the world is by design. You must design it or it will design you. Number two, always be unpredictable. Number three. Protect yourself and your mentor from the I. Good. You did all right. I give it a B plus. Now can we go get my patent from outside of the library before someone steals it? Um, I took it earlier as further collateral. Okay. I'm not quite sure how you did that, but I like it. Let's go. The high, the low, so Oh, I am not a pirate, but a man of a crony, a sailing down along the coast of my Barbary. For our side, for our side, we fought along the main, go high, go low, and so sailed we, until at last the frigate shot the pirate's mast away, a sailing down along the coast of my Barbary.